I dare you to take the Field Day 2022 Challenge. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to talk about the Field Day 2022 Challenge that I have for you guys. Now, we'll go ahead and jump right into the challenge for those that are familiar with position reports using WinLink. If you're not familiar with those WinLink position reports, stick around and I'll walk you through how to do one as soon as we are done talking about the challenge. So here's the challenge. I want you to post a position report right at the beginning of field day. I believe that's 1800 UTC on Saturday. And in the comment section of that position report, I want you to put ACK FD challenge. Then I want you to wait two, three, maybe four hours, and I want you to query for all nearby stations. Once you've got that re, uh, reply back from the query that you submitted, I want you to pick one or two stations that you find on the list that's got that ACK field day challenge in the comments, and I just want you to send them a win link message. Now, it doesn't have to be anything too long. Uh, two or three sentences should be plenty. Just introduce yourself, maybe tell where you're doing field day at, and be sure to give your section and class. Hopefully, you'll get some replies to those WinLink messages, and it'll actually count for a couple of contacts on field day. Now, for this challenge, I don't care what method you use to move the WinLink message. If you want to use RDOP, if you want to use VARA, if you want to use Telnet, I really don't care. The whole idea behind this challenge is just to get you more familiar with WinLink position reporting. Now, let's talk about why you would want to use WinLink position reports. Let's assume that there's a group of five of us, and I'm the comms leader for that group. However, I'm a really bad comms manager. So I send everybody out on a task, uh, and we're going to communicate for whatever the event happens to be. A bike race, a foot race, you get the idea. When I send you out, though, being that bad comms leader, I just tell you we're going to use 146.52 simplex to communicate. Well, as soon as we all get into the field, we realize that's just not going to cut it. That goofy comms leader didn't take into account the mountains that are between many of us. How can we overcome this, regroup in the field, and reestablish communications? Well, that's where the WinLink position report comes in. As soon as each operator got to their location, if they simply posted a WinLink position report and put in the comments uh, that they couldn't communicate over 5.2 simplex and they were moving to something else, whatever that something else happens to be. Maybe you're going to use 80 meter NVIS, maybe you're going to change over and use a repeater instead of using simplex. Whatever the case is, they just post that in a WinLink position report. Now they can wait 10 or 15 minutes and query all nearby stations. They should see each of the other operators in their group and the comments that they left indicating how you could get in touch with them. Now it doesn't matter that everybody's using a different method as long as we got one person in the group that can reach out to each of those on whichever particular method the operator chose and we can kind of refocus them all to one specific area. So maybe uh, 80 meter NVIS is not going to work because not everyone carried an HF radio with them. So instead we're going to just swap over and use the repeater. And this is just one method of using WinLink position reporting. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Raspberry Pi and I'll walk you guys through how to both post your position and request all nearby stations. Okay, so over on the Raspberry Pi, and that is the platform I'll be using today, though this is possible to do in WinLink Express as well. But on the Raspberry Pi, let's go ahead and open PAT menu, and then let's click on the PAT catalog right here. Now, keep in mind, it will be easiest to do this if you have a GPS connected to your computer. You can manually input this information as well if you prefer, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I'm going to show you a couple of methods for posting this position report. Inside of PAT catalog, come down to position reports, and then post position report. And then we're just going to put the comment right here in the last box. So ACK field A challenge. 
and we'll go ahead and click continue. And that posted the message to our WinLink outbox. So let's go ahead and jump over to Pat for a second and take a look at the outbox and we will see that position report. And if I open that up, that'll give you an idea of what is in that message. See if I can make that a little bit bigger for you guys so you can read it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this position report and I'm going to show you another way to accomplish the same task. From within the PAT mailbox, if we simply click on action and position, you'll get this dialog box here. Again, you can manually fill in this latitude and longitude information if you didn't have a GPS attached, but it's by far easier if we do have the GPS attached. Again, in the comments section, we're going to put ACK Field Day Challenge. And I'll go ahead and post that one as well, and you'll see it's here in the outbox ready to be sent. So let's go ahead and send this one out now. Just for the demo purposes of this video, I'm going to use Telnet. So let's go ahead and click Connect. Now that that message has been sent, I want to show you guys a couple of different ways that you can retrieve uh, that information. So if we go over to aprs.fi and we just search my call sign, you'll see that the position report gets reported to the APRS system. And it shows us right here that it's from WinLink. And then right here in green is that comment that we left. So that's all well and good, but we're going to assume you don't have internet. So we need to retrieve this same information without the internet. Again, let's go back to Pat Menu, and I'm in Pat Catalog again. We're going to click on Position Reports once again. And this time, we're going to query for all nearby stations. So I'll just choose that from the drop-down box and click continue. And that's it. You get another message that it was posted to your outbox. So let's go take a look at the Pat outbox and we can see that was posted. Let's open that up. And this one is very simple. We just send it to inquiry and then in the body of it, WL2K underscore nearby. So let's go ahead and send that message out next. And then you want to wait two to three minutes maybe before you try to make a connection again. That'll give everything enough time to get through the system and that report be sent back to you. In the meantime, if we go back to the inbox, we'll see that we get a position report acknowledgement assuming that your message went through as expected. We'll go ahead and open that up and you'll see that the following position report for KM4ACK has been entered. And it gives us the date, time, lat, long, and that comment once again. So I know that my position report was accepted. So let's go ahead and delete that. And let's try another connection and see if that reply is ready for us. And indeed it is. So this is the reply that we've received. So you'll see WL2K underscore nearby. If we open that up, we can start looking down through here at all of the position reports that have been posted in the last 10 days. And they're sorted so that the closest station is at, the, or the closest station to you is at the top of the list. So you'll see my position report right here at the very top because it is a distance of 0.0 miles, or maybe that's kilometers. Either way, it does sort them by distance. And you can see all of the comments that each different operator has left. So, for instance, this KO4BAH, he's got green in his comments and emails checked daily. This guy here says lots of rain and storms, but everything is good. So you can kind of look through these comments and get an idea of how you might use them for your particular situation. So there's a rundown on WinLink position reporting, and I hope you'll use this information to participate in the challenge for Field Day 2022. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.